this place, a mysterious place during the day, looks like this on the beach. So today we're gonna see what this awesome camera can do at night in low light conditions or with many artificial lights. Okay, but wait a minute. It's not that yet. One second. And by the way, have you guessed where I am right now? It could be anywhere in the world. Where is it? Where am I right now? He's <laughs> gonna see it. Cool, what's up guys, Dan Fulani here and welcome back to a new video. Tonight, day, tonight, we're in a particular place and I'm not gonna tell you where because this time you're gonna have to guess and we'll see if you can figure it out. I would never guess. So one of the things we're gonna talk about in this video is the performance in low light of this camera. And right now, for example, ISO 3200 and I'm using the uh, Canon EF 16 to 35 millimeters f2.8 at f2.8 of course with the regular adapter and besides that I brought another lens which I'm gonna try in a bit now I still steal 3200 because I think I got more light I mean it's low light conditions even though there are so many lights so many street lights they're pretty dim and for what concerns the um, white balance I set it to automatic and I never do that or at least I very seldom do that because I usually like to have full control over everything on my camera so I usually have everything set to manual and never automatic never but in these conditions where the lights change every two seconds like from uh, white blue red you know it's kind of impossible to figure it out with the uh, Kelvin like I usually do so I just set it to automatic and I'm good to go For now I'm going to try to increase the ISO so now ISO 3200 as I said now let's put a little bit higher now I'm trying ISO 6400 I mean I think I already had an app light but I just wanted to try a higher ISO I mean for the sake of the video so we try something like let me see this seems like well exposed right now let me know what you think about it and leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things my gear and check the link to epidemic sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects for free all right so still iso 6400 aperture f2.8 and let me check since well exposed I don't know if there's any digital noise. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And oh, also, don't forget to, to try and guess where I am right now. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you anything. It could be any place in the world. I'm not gonna tell you, not even a hint. All right, so apparently from what I can see from the LCD screen is doing pretty well. I mean, the, this camera performs pretty well with this lens. And aperture f2.8, ISO 6400. All right, right now I'm using the 35 millimeters, the RF 35 millimeters f1.8 at f1.8, ISO 3200. Yeah. And I mean, it looks good, but it's a little tight if uh, if you want it for a vlogging scenario or something like that so you better have either a tall tripod or another person an assistant or a friend to help you to film yourself i mean 
Okay, keep it steady. Try with both hands and keep it straight. There's space up. In the middle? Me in the middle. Yeah. Space up, space down. I'm gonna be on more of it. Alright, and this is what you will see. I mean, what you get if either you have a tripod or an assistant or a person helping you to film yourself. This is it. In this case, it's not a tripod and it's the great stabilization of the camera and my wife holding it. If you don't have anyone and you have to rely on whatever you find here, like put it on a wall and it's good enough. ISO 6400 and right now ISO 3200. It's a little bit better. What do you think? Again, leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So now I want to show you a little bit more of this place. So maybe you'll be able to tell me where I am right now. This city is divided in two parts. One, uh, like the beach side here, it's more like the families. And this other side, full of the restaurants, pubs, and nightclubs. Again, try and guess where I am right now. It could be anywhere in the world. Just have a guess. The like button. So in my previous video I showed you uh, C log C log 1 and C log 3 but with bright light and the daylight with so much sun and as I promised in this one I'm gonna show you the same like C log 1 and C log 3 in low light conditions and even though there are lights but <laughs> I think we can consider this like low light conditions or night con light conditions, whatever. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below and hit the like button. And in the meantime, I keep walking and it's really nice here, you know. It's, uh, it's not the first time I come here on a holiday. I think it's just the, my second time and I like it, it's pretty good. So feel free to write in the comments where you think I am right now. So C-Log 1 and C-Log 3. C-Log 3 is supposed to be better in bright light conditions because it supposedly you can recover the highlights better like detailing the highlights and what I heard is that C-Log 1 still outperforms C-Log 3 for what concerns low light conditions and we'll see about that the difference between C-Log or C-Log 1 and C-Log 3 show you some samples right away Again, this is C-Log 3, here, no light conditions. It'll be in the video. Okay. C-Log 1 and C-Log 3. 
C-Log 1. So this is C-Log 1. Hey. Why don't we have a sea lock too on the Canon R6? Well, what I know is that we just don't have it, but I believe it's because sea lock two requires like higher specs or something like that, and that's why we can't have it on the Canon R6 or Canon R6 Mark II, and we're not gonna have it through a firmware update. I don't think so. Another thing, what I read in one of the comments to my previous video, some people say that at night or in low light conditions, it's preferable to use one of the default picture styles, but I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Because even though you might think it looks better, I, I don't agree. Say, so, yeah, maybe. But what happens with one of the default picture style is just that you lose all the, uh, can I say, the details in the shadow. It just makes everything black. So of course, there's no digital noise. But that's easy when you just have too much contrast. Well, all right, guys. I hope you appreciate the samples and you're able to tell me which one is better in low light conditions, either C-Log 1 or C-Log 3. And what else am I gonna do tonight? I don't know, probably go to nightclubs? What do you think about it? Wait a minute. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna spend time with my family here in this beautiful place. All right, I think I don't have anything else to say. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash the like button right now. Subscribe if you ain't already. And I'll see you guys. Michael, what's up? <laughs> in the next video. <laughs> Oh yeah!